Hello viewers. So today we are making a very basic green salad. Uh, the thing about this salad is that we have taken into consideration very very simple ingredients because that is how we like our salads to be. Uh, this is not something very complex. This is not something that is very time consuming. This is something you know where the ingredients are available um, in your grocery store, and something that you know you can just have prepared beforehand and can serve as an addition to your breakfast, your lunch, or your dinner, or just as a complete meal in itself. So let's just go ahead and start and see what are we or how are we assembling this. So the first ingredient that we have taken in here is lettuce. So when you are looking for lettuce, just look for um, not discolored stems. Look for something that you know has tender leaves, and you know um, the color is not discolored. It shouldn't be brown. It shouldn't be yellow. So once you take that, you know, just remember to give a thorough wash to your lettuce and just spin it nicely into the salad spinner. This ensures that, you know, when you are assembling and preparing your salad, the leaves would not turn soggy and it's crunchy. And I believe that's how we all like our salad, right? So the next ingredient that now we have are uh, almonds. I've specifically taken almonds here, which, you know, we are slicing almonds finely so these are finely sliced almonds if you're fond of nuts and if you need or if you desire or if you want a little more crunchiness in your uh, uh, salad you can opt for sunflower seeds you can opt for cashews you can opt for walnuts uh, you can opt for pumpkin seeds i just feel that you know um uh, nuts in a basic green salad they go a long way in uh, garnishing and making your salad look presentable as well as you know they just add that little uh, bit of edgy crunchiness uh, to your salad i haven't uh, uh, you know deep peeled my uh, almonds here but if you wish you can soak the almonds overnight peel off the skin and then slice it slice it The next most important ingredient in our green salad um, is a cucumber. I've opted for baby cucumbers because I just feel that, you know, um, they are more palatable as compared to the bigger ones that have hard and very big seeds. So what you want to be looking for are baby cucumbers that, you know, are packaged together and are easily available in a grocery store. You can just cut these cucumbers according to uh, the size of the dices that you wish. I've just taken, you know, medium uh, diced uh, cucumbers. Um, there are many people who I know, you know, wish, uh, they prefer finally uh, chopped cucumbers. So if that is something that you like, you can go for that too. Um, there are many who prefer de-seeding a cucumber. So if you wish to take off the seeds, that is again something, you know, uh, that you can do. And that's the beauty of the salad, right? You can just customize it according to your own taste and according to what your preference is. Um, you see here that I am not peeling off the cucumbers. Uh, I'm not taking off the skin because that is how I like my cucumbers. But if you wish, you can take off the green part. I, For me, I just feel that this adds again, you know, a little bit of crunchiness and you you can hear me you know talking about the salad being crunchy because that is how i like the salads right so you can just have the skin on and not remove the skin if that is something uh, that you like the next ingredient that you uh, want to add are cherry tomatoes this gives a blast of color to the otherwise green salad so you can you know just slit the cherry tomatoes you can just add them whole it just entirely depends on what you want to do So how we assemble them is, uh, how we assemble the salad is, you can just take a salad bowl of your choice. I've taken a pineapple shaped salad bowl because this is my favorite one. So the base is of lettuce. After that, you know, I am going to add the diced cucumbers. Obviously you see that I've not taken off the peel. We are going to add the tomatoes right here. If you wish to give a protein blast to your salad, you know, you can add chicken boiled chicken bacon strips sprouted beans so that is again something that you can add in here
if you like a little bit of sweetness to your salad you can add raisins and cranberries i personally like cranberries um you can add dices of mango or you could even add chunks of uh, pineapple if that is something that you prefer so then you again add salt according to your choice you add black pepper you can add dry mint i would highly recommend that because it just notches up the taste of your regular salad mm. just give it a good mix at the end you know you can add lemon juice or orange juice or a combination of both whatever you like and the level of tanginess that you like for your salad now this is ready just to be served as it is and you know you can just add this as a side to your breakfast to your lunch to your dinner or just as a complete meal in itself i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give us a, a big thumbs up 